Hi everyone, my name is Ioannis Aliazis. I am a freediving instructor with Alpine Academy. I am also an advanced first aid instructor with Rescue Training International. In this video, we will talk about the mouthfeel equalization technique. We will talk about what it is and what it isn't, what the process is of performing this technique, and I will show you a small visualization so you can see what it looks like. First of all, a disclaimer. This is in no way a substitute for hands-on experience in the water with an instructor. The best way for you to learn this technique is to contact an instructor and either do a course or get some hands-on training with them. I will also not be talking about basic concepts because this is a little bit more advanced technique. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Let's see what it isn't. It's not this. So just filling up your mouth with air is not the mouthfeel equalization technique. It is, like I said, an equalization technique. It's a way to equalize to deeper depths. What is the process? We start our dive and we equalize our usual way. Most people use Frenzel with whatever lock is uh, comfortable for you. Some people use the T-lock, some people use the K-lock and so on down to a depth of around 20-25 meters. There we use an air shift technique, either an abdominal contraction or reverse pack, and a charge, most people use the M charge, to fill up our mouth with air. At this point is where the mouth fill equalization technique begins. So we need to create constant pressure during our descent so that we are equalizing the whole way down. We are not equalizing in bursts like we do from 0 to 20 something. So we're not pushing like this. We have constant pressure and we use the cheeks and the jaw since we fill up a lot. So we lower the jaw, we close the jaw slowly and we push with the cheeks to create constant pressure to keep our eustachian tubes open the whole time. At the point where this technique starts to fail, meaning that you feel that you cannot keep constant pressure and your uh, eustachian tubes open, you will revert back to Frenzel with the remaining air you have until you have no more air in your mouth to be able to equalize. And that is where, where your uh, dive will end and you will turn around. Now for the fun part, the visualization. I'm using the EQ tool by Uba Project. It has a pressure sensor, so we can see how we're equalizing across time. It can also leak a little bit of air, so we can simulate a normal dive. On the x-axis, we have time. On the y-axis, we have pressure. The green line is my equalization limit, so it's where I know that I'm equalizing. So we take a deep breath and we start our dive. In the beginning, you can see that I'm equalizing with Frenzel. You can see my throat going up. So I'm pushing with my tongue and I'm equalizing with Frenzel for the first meters of the dive. So we're, right now we're at 20 seconds. In a little bit, you will see me charge. And then I'm trying to have constant pressure. So I'm constantly trying to push with my cheeks in this in this case to keep my uh, the pressure in my ears at or a little bit above the equalization limit as you can see in the graph. At the point where you feel like you cannot keep this much this pressure you revert back to Frenzel. And this is what the mouthfeel equalization technique is. The longer you can keep the pressure in your in your mouth by pushing with your jaw and with your cheeks, the long, the deeper you will go in your dive. And then when you have, like I said before, when you lose the ability to create this constant pressure, you will revert back to Frenzel and continue doing this until you run out of air and you finish your dive. So as you see, it's a technique that is not so much for beginners, but it's fairly straightforward to understand. And we talked about what it is, what it isn't, and I hope you understand. I hope it's, uh, it's been a useful video for you. If you have any questions, please let me know and see you in the next one.